Right now, the rush is on to return home this holiday weekend and return safely. Take a live look at how things are shaping up on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. Westbound traffic starting to fill up. Oh, we can see that back up as they approach the bridge. Folks coming home from the beaches and they will have a long trip home. We've been telling you for days now, authorities on both sides of the bridge are closing certain ramps in an effort to discourage all those travelers from getting off the highway and clogging up local roads. So here's the question, is it working? Our Scott Broom is live at the bridge to tell us more about this plan. So Scotty, what's the word on the ground? Uh, the word on the ground is those ramp closures on Kent Island are controversial. Talked to a couple of people today who said the cure is worse than the disease. Traffic is horrible. George Bilbo is having a terrible day on Kent Island, Maryland. With all the closures of the ramps and you have to stay on 50, I think everything was fine and now it's even worse. The ramp to re-enter US 50 eastbound towards the Bay Bridge from Route 8 is closed this afternoon. Same with the ramp to get on US 50 at Duke Street. And sheriff's deputies are at a roundabout at Castle Marina Road to discourage local detours. The closures are designed to discourage beach travelers from gridlocking local roads by using them to detour around the legendary backups on US 50 approaching the Bay Bridge. This afternoon's ramp closures make it all but impossible for beach travelers to get back on US 50 if they try a local detour. But George is not impressed. Sure, the back roads are open, but there's nowhere to go. When, once you get up to Route 8, you got to come all the way back because everything's closed. It's more than a little inconvenience, right? It's Here's an example of the back and forth with Queen Anne's County commissioners at a recent town hall. We're trying to stop traffic, beach traffic, from getting on our side streets so that Queenstown, Graysonville, and Chester can get to the grocery store, the hardware right. store, or wherever they right. need to go. There are similar closures planned on the west side of the bridge in Anne Arundel County this summer to prevent beach traffic from using local frontage roads. Queen Anne's County Commissioner Jim Moran is appealing for patience. It's not going to happen on one weekend where we're going to change these, these traffic patterns and everyone's going to go, okay, this is the new way and, and we're going we're to be able to speed up and not be confused. All right, back live now with the Bay Bridge in the background at Sandy Point Park. I was just looking at Google Maps. So how's it working out? Well, on Kent Island, the local roads generally are flowing pretty well. So perhaps for local people, the ramp closures are working. But on US 50, the backup right now goes all the way back to Y Mills and Route 404. That's 15 miles. It's taking one hour to get from there to the Bay Bridge. So it is a tough day today getting back on the beach. And it doesn't help as you look at the Bay Bridge and see the wind blowing through my shirt out here at Sandy Point. There are wind warnings on the bridge, so big RVs and trailers uh, are uh, being excluded from the bridge right now. That's slowing some things down as well. It's tough to get back from the beach every Memorial Day. Uh, today is no exception. Ramp closures notwithstanding on Kent Island. Reporting live at Sandy Point State Park, watching the weather as well. Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Yeah, you said it, Scott. It's it's normally not a fun ride as it is, but you add all these closures. We'll see how it shapes up for the rest of the summer. Thanks, Scott.